Good evening. I'm Derek, evening host. Hello, Derek. Am I in trouble? <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, unfortunately, the lady that was sat at this table, she had to leave early. I'm sorry. Uh, right. So are you filling in for her? Did she pull a runner when she saw me? No, nothing of the sort. She uh, is a musician. Had a gift to get to. Well, that is pretty fair. That's a good alibi. How did the rest of them go? Find what you're looking for? Or... Oh, is she the last one? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of glad about that, because I don't really know how many more I had left in me. Well, I'm sure you made a fantastic impression. Yeah, no, I've met some great people, but I think it's just too early to tell. Speed dating is just to pique curiosity rather than find love. It's just like a little teaser, isn't it? You just kind of just get to know them and just as you're getting there. It's like tapas, I like to say. <laughs> well, a little bit of everything. Love tapas, yeah. <laughs> some olives. I do have to call you out, though, because there's some times when I'm really, the date's going well, and then just then, I hear you screaming out. It could be like an extra 30 <laughs> seconds. I need to be able to give you a signal or something. <laughs> How long have you been hosting? I have lots of hosting experience, but specifically the speed date and stuff, just at the beginning of lockdown. So those were digital, I presume? Mm-hmm, correct. For me, Finding love is the most formative journey of our lives, and I just wanted to help people continue that journey, despite the circumstances. Having said that, there is no real substitute for meeting someone special in person. So from these, have you ever had any marriages develop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had a couple. Uh, even a couple of babies named after me. Yeah. <laughs> Need to put it in my bio. Pregnancy facilitator. Derek. No, you, you really don't, because that sounds like something that would be on a t-shirt on a lad's holiday. <laughs> the stag do t-shirts, you're right. Okay. I actually think I've seen them before. I sell like hotcakes, though, right? <laughs> so how did you hear about us? I was duped into coming here this evening. I thought I was going out for a drink with my best mate, Misha, and here I am. Uh, she's actually somewhere here. She's on a date somewhere, I don't know. But... Well, I, I love a strong male-female friendship. Do you prefer the company of women or men? Come again? Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll rephrase. Who do you feel like you naturally engage with more easily? Well, Misha aside, I would definitely find it easier to relate to lads. Um, it's not that I'm uncomfortable talking to women. Oh, interesting. That's just not what the feedback from your dates would suggest. What feedback? What does it say? I don't know if you want to know. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> that was uh, a little bit unprofessional. I'm gonna get you back for that. You can try. Shit. You are halfway, guys. Halfway. God. Don't tell anyone I forgot. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> Thanks. So tell me, what is the best way to approach all of this? Well, aside from being yourself. Well, let me rephrase that. Do you have any less crap advice? No, I don't. Sorry. The thing is, there's so many different types of personalities in here. One person's poison might be another person's paradise. Yeah, that is a fair point. Mm. Okay, I'll pose you this. Are you looking for someone more lively or laid back? Because that may decide what kind of energy you want to exude yourself. Now, both are brilliant, but markedly different. I definitely want someone who is dynamic and a lively personality to just spice up my life. Oh, not to dominate, though. No, because that can just be a whole different thing. It can get toxic. Um, although, there's no harm in me being put in my place from time to time. No? Crack of the whip. <laughs> I never said I was into that. <laughs> I was wondering, has hosting these made you an expert? in romance. What, like some kind of love guru? No. <laughs> no. No, come on, you must have more insight than the average guy. Okay, wait, wait, okay. Has it ever helped in your personal life? Sadly, no. No, it's still very single. Why, did you have someone in mind for me? Yeah. Misha, she would love to meet you. She's here, I can introduce you. Um, I'm sure Misha's fab. But I won't be interested. It's a bit mean. What's wrong with her? 
Well, she's a uh, her. Yeah, sorry. Um, no, 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 I shouldn't have assumed. That was silly of me. You're fine. Totally fine. So what other events do you host? So a lot for the queer community. So we do a lot of, obviously, speed dating. Um, we do traffic light parties, lock and key parties, all sorts, really. OK, it is your final minute, guys. Final minute. I need to stop forgetting. Sorry, uh, what were we...? We were talking about your queer events. Yes. Um, yeah, you should come sometime. So are you assuming that I'm still going to be single after this? I don't know, maybe see it as a, a safety net. I would love to. You know, just so long as you're hosting, of course. Naturally. And that, ladies and gents, is the end of tonight's event. I've been Derek, get home safe, and hope you had a good time. Thanks, Derek. Um, I'm actually kind of glad that the musician bailed. Oh, she was lovely. But I'm kind of glad too. But that is totally against the rules for me to say that. Is it also against the rules for me to ask for your socials? No. At Demo Events. Got it. <laughs> so what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Well... Yeah, and an absolutely nuts thing happened. I was supposed to be meeting um, for this day this musician, but she bailed. Mm -hmm. And then, do you remember the host? Yeah. Yeah, Derek is his name. So I was sitting there, and he came up and told me about the um, girl who had to leave. And then we sat down, we just started talking. You and Derek! <laughs> yeah, oh my God, yeah, he's I just. Love that. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you saw plenty of him as well. He's just, he's, yeah, he's a cool guy. He's very, very suave. So, would there be more with Derek? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Love that for you. Yeah, thank you. So, what's the next move? Well, I have one option. So, I think I'm gonna send a message. Yeah, one's better than none. One is definitely better than none. Proud of you. Peace. Could I get a half pint, please? Thank you very much. Ryan. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> uh, it's good. Good, not bad at all. How are you doing? Yeah, decent. I mean, tube was a nightmare, but... On the plus side, if there's any COVID, it would have definitely died off from the stench of BI. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I must admit, I was pretty surprised that you wanted to grab a drink with me. Why? You don't seem so bad. No. I'm above average. Do you think? Come on. No, <laughs> I didn't mean that. No, I thought we got on pretty damn well, so I just wanted to see you again. Will we get you a drink? Yes, I, I don't drink alcohol, but um, a mocktail. That'd be great. Hey, yeah. I was thinking it, thank you, but I didn't want to say it. Thanks. Oh, well. Cheers to yeah. you. It's an unexpected day, but yeah. Oh, she's sweet. You don't want a pretzel, do you? Uh, no, I probably won't touch those. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. How's the Shirley Temple? Mm, not so sure on the Shirley, but the Temple's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. <laughs> um, I would say the main thing that I noticed was your confidence when you're up there and your way with words. Mm. Yeah, well, gift of the gab, part of the game, I guess. Yeah, I used to host all of the family Christmas game nights when I was a kid, and then the uni Christmas game nights. 
Listen, if you ever need a private host, I'm your guy. Can I take you up on that now? Sure, but we need another player. Well, that could be you too. Ah, okay. Sure. What to play? Um... Okay. I've got it. You may have noticed at the speed dating night, there were these conversation starters, riddles that were written on these little table number cards. Okay, so a game of riddles. Mm -hmm. We will do one point for every correct answer. Perfect. Which month has 28 days? You just had that right off the top of your head, didn't you? I do this for a living, Ryan. <laughs> this is a trick question, isn't it? They all have at least 28 days. Mmm. Very good. Clever clogs. What can I say? Okay, your turn. Bear with me. Bear with me. Have a, have a sip. You know, do what you gotta do. I gotta find one here. Okay, okay, okay. Fire up a search engine. Don't forget to close all your porn tabs. You see them. <laughs> Any leads? Um, I am tossing up between two different ones. Take your time. I've got an encyclopedia of riddles up here. So you better have a new one for me. You don't like to brag, do you? <laughs> Why doesn't Santa Claus have any children? I know this one. And it's not even a riddle, it's just a dirty joke. What? Because he only comes once a year. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, no, like a point for you, a point for you. Terrible. <laughs> Are you big on Christmas? My best mate Misha drags me to every Christmas market every year, so I don't know if that answers your question, but... Yeah, I mean, uh, they are extortionate, but they do get you into the Christmas spirit, can't they? I mean, I bloody love Christmas. Same. Honestly, I have boxes. I'm talking boxes of Christmas stuff. You've got mistletoe, fake trees, fake reindeers, <laughs> the lot, lights. Well, I have always aspired to cook a full Christmas dinner, from the starters to the main course, everything in between. Oh. I know what. Oh. I could make an eggnog non-alcoholic just for you with your name written all over it. You could swing by. And I will guzzle it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love I love eggnog. Well, I loved eggnog. Well, it, it, it would still be good. I'll still put all the spices and everything. Amazing. Sounds good. Chef's kiss. OK, your turn. I'm in the zone. Right, OK. A man rides out of town on Sunday, stays in a hotel all night, and then the next day, he rides out of town on his horse on a Sunday. How is this possible? You trying to trick me. This is a trick one, isn't it? I'm not saying. This is one of the ones where the answer is in the question. My lips are sealed. I think that he rode across a time zone and then he went into a hotel, he spent the night and then he rode back the next day. Tell me I'm right. Wow. Wow, that was an obtuse train of thought. That was wrong, very wrong. I'm impressed, though. It's much simpler. The horse was named Sunday. Just, no, no. Oh, don't be a sore loser, come on. Okay, sorry, look, no, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just deciding. You would make an awful event host. I mean, you need to be quicker with these things, like a whippet. Add me to myself, and then multiply me by four, and divide me by eight, and you have me once more. What number am I? Okay. Uh, that works with any number. Oh! <laughs> I thought I would get you out on that one. Nah, well, to be fair, I did have a part-time job as a cashier when I was a teenager, so my mental arithmetic is sharp. Could have told me that in advance. Can't you tell you all my secret. OK, I have just the riddle to finish. Right. Man weighs 100 pounds, plus half his weight. How much does he weigh? That's not very hard. Is it not? Uh, yeah, no, that's... He weighs 150 pounds. Wrong. No, it isn't. He weighs 100 plus half his weight. So it's 100 plus 50 equals 150. Mm. 100 isn't his full weight. It's 200. Which means 100 plus 100 
It's 200. Ah, uh, fine. Give me a final rattle to your worst. Let me get the phone again. <sighs> okay. Maybe think about what you want to ask me beyond the riddle. Could be good. Mm, you've done this before, haven't you? I have married many times, but I'm single. Nice try. You didn't say I have been married many times, it's just that I have. So you married other people, haven't you? A priest. You're too sharp. What made you want to ask me that riddle? Have you ever fancied being a priest? <laughs> yeah, I have, but that's for another time. <laughs> No, look, um, marriage is the obvious question based off that riddle, but I am curious, how long have you been single? Not long. Uh, like the majority of my track record, it was a short-term misfire. <laughs> you someone that likes being in a relationship, or do you like being single? I feel like a lot of people would choose the former. I bet people's bad relationships are uh, more just because they want a company, no matter whose it was. Yeah, I mean, as much as I am looking for a connection, I'm happily single while I look for it. Yeah, I mean, I used to be so unhappy being single. I just felt so lonely, and then I got in a bad relationship, and <laughs> I actually never felt lonelier, you know? There's actually a really nice quote about that. Um, it's, th it's that a relationship shouldn't be two halves making a whole. It should be two holes making a pair. Wow, that's lovely. <laughs> yeah. Words to live by. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, who won the game? I was hoping that you'd forgotten. Uh, oh, you thought I'd forget the scorekeeping duty of a host, did you? OK, look, you, know, you won Baron Square. Name your prize. Hmm. OK. What is an appropriate forfeit for such a, well, monumental victory? <laughs> well, let me propose a forfeit. Okay. I'll pay for the night. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's... That's really kind of you. I accept. You get the bill, please. I'm suddenly very glad you don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I would have been maxing out your credit cards otherwise. <laughs> You think I'm joking? You can see me in my drinking days. Well, I had a really great night, I must say. Yeah, um, so did I. Um, and I got your hosting services for free tonight. You did? VIP treatment. <laughs> How'd you get away with that? How are you getting back? Uh, I'm gonna get the tube. Mm, same. Do you wanna walk together? Yeah. Okay. So who's gonna get the third date? <laughs> no commentary, please. He's scrolling. Um, scrolling back. Oh, okay. Ooh, wish me luck. Good luck. Say like you mean it. Good luck. Bang. <gasps> Hello, Derek. It is Ryan. Um, how are you? Yeah, uh, great to talk to you as well. Um, I was wondering if you would be free sometime this week. Maybe we could get some nibbles or, you know, uh, a drink or something. Yes, and you're, you're down for the nibbles? Sweet, okay, uh, so I, I will send you some details and then I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. See ya. A little jazz piano on this one here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a nudge. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I am so sorry I'm late again. I'll just make up for it. Yeah, hey, Will. Sorry. All is definitely forgiven. I did not get them from a vending machine, I promise. <laughs> um, uh, no drinks. So, should we order? Yeah, let's. Again, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Thank you. Just feel like they can actually have a proper day after. But... Well, someone. Thank you. I'm going to just um, pick one up. Um, go. Oh, straight in. When in Rome, you know. <laughs> well, cheers. Cheers to you. Mm -hmm. I actually prefer eating on the sofa. Yeah, my family were proper TV dinners. They just loved it. And um, I always need a bit of like background noise for whatever I'm doing. So are you one of those people who just has to have music playing wherever they go? Wherever. No matter long, short. So if you had to go from here to the bathroom, would you take your earphones out? I'd debate it. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Why don't we play each other some songs? What, just like some random songs that we like? No. No, ones that, ones that remind us of an important time in our lives and then we can share the stories. Yeah, uh, yeah, great. Yeah. Um, will I go first? Go for it. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna hide some of these from you. Um, I have a lot of different genres going on here. <laughs> Do they all have meaning? <laughs> No, um, no. <laughs> You'll find that out pretty soon. <laughs> hey, Chico! Okay, well, I really need to know what this is all about. I really, <laughs> I don't think you do. Come on. No, God, Derek, please don't make me, okay? You have to. Uh, this song reminds me of a long weekend at Tenerife. Um, and it was playing in every single bar. And it may or may not remind me of a holiday romance with a particular sun-kissed local. Right. A full romance. Yeah. <laughs> Over a long weekend. No, this was the sort of one where you're out in a nightclub and, you know, someone grabs someone, you go somewhere and, you know, hit it and quit it. Right. <laughs> wow. You sound like quite the Lothario. Right. I don't want to toot my own horn, but, you know. You are. <laughs> okay. Come on, your turn. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's about it. No pressure. <laughs> right, I got one. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, I like the energy. This, no, come on, this has to be a happy memory. Yeah, yeah. It's um, my first time going to Pride, and I was just mesmerized by this group of drag queens, and they were on this stage dancing, and everyone was joining in. This song was playing, and it was just... It was amazing. It sounds like a lot of fun. Mm, it really was. Really was. Would you ever do drag? Why? Do you think it would suit me? Sure. Why not? I mean, it suited everyone that I've ever seen do it. So, why not? Yeah. I have experimented before with my mate Misha. She, um, she does all of it. She does my makeup, clothes, everything. Yeah? Yeah. It, I don't know. It kind of like, it just gave me a different energy, you know? Yeah. But I, I kind of like to change up my style anyway, so. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, it's kind of not really for me. Just more comfortable in my own boring clothes. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, maybe you just need someone to take you on the journey. Well, I am a never say never kind of guy. I am gonna hold you to that. Please do. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What next, what next? Um, it's already been quite the eclectic mix so far. Hmm. What do you got? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Okay. And it just got more eclectic. What what in the world does this remind you of? Uh the memories are a little bit hazy. Um God, I haven't heard that song in so many years. It kind of just reminds me of my youth. You know, tipping back and forth to school, do my homework with this. 
MSN Messenger. Yeah. I, was like, I, was, I was typing, I was saying BRB, and I just had this going in the background, and I felt like a bit of a, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gel hair, yeah, the lot. I can see it now. How did you know I, had, I did? Uh, well, it's mad, because we all had exactly the same childhood, but I was listening to, like, pop music while you were listening to this stuff. Well, this might be an overshare as well, but I had a full-blown bowl cut. <laughs> yeah, and I had to straighten it every single day. <laughs> I maintain that I was before a certain pop star. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, my turn? Yep. Oh, God. I feel like I'm exposing myself a bit here. Jesus, steady on, Derek. Oh, very funny. Okay. <laughs> here we go. <sighs> Is that it? Sea shanty song. Yeah? Guess whose voice that is. Is it you? Hmm? Oh, piss off. <laughs> That's you! That's me! Wow! <laughs> you, have, uh, you have an amazing voice. Yeah? Oh. Yeah, I kind of got caught up with the whole sea shanty hype during lockdown. And obviously no work going on. I thought, mm. might as well make music as a kind of... Distraction, really. I mean, as far as distractions go, it's a very productive one. True. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't just the boredom for me. Um, obviously, you know, I don't drink alcohol, um, but it's not the only substance that I've had troubles with in the past. Okay. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. No, no, no. It's, it's, uh, look, and I am totally sober now. I really am. But, um, yeah, during the lockdown, I kind of fell off the wagon in a big way. And I was living on my own, and everything was so uncertain. And I don't know, I just... I kind of felt like it was my only way out, you know? Mm. Is it a bit much to say that the music helped save you? Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it quite literally saved my life. Yeah, you know? And for me, personal projects are always the best way to avoid consumption, so I just I started writing music, and then I learned to record and produce it on my laptop, and then I just thought, why not release it, <laughs> you know? Not that I have any fans or anything. It's until now. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Listen, I'm sorry if that was all a bit much. No, I just thought I'd be open about it and... I understand if it's all a big red flag, but it, I, I'm sure it really is all behind me. I mean, look, I know that nothing is ever 100%, but I care about the present. I do not care about your past. Well, at present, I am 99.9% .9 sure that it's all behind me. <laughs> I can tell. I mean, look at you. You're glowing. <laughs> Look at you, Derek. Stop. Stop it, I love it. <laughs> yeah, give me more. Say it again. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. I, I feel better than ever. So, last one. And actually, this time, why don't we play what your last played song was? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes. Okay. Someone's down with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> In mind more than body. No, I've always been drawn to more like youthful music. Interesting. I, would you say that you feel younger or that it's just the music and you actually feel older? Do you perceive me as one way or the other? Sort of. Nah, I just think I'm a big kid. Deep down, like I'm just... Really? I don't know, you kind of, you seem mature and responsible. Really? Yeah. Ooh, well, you should see me and my mate Nisha together. I mean, honestly, most days I have to remind myself that I'm a big boy, you know, and I have a job and I have responsibilities and bills to pay. Well, that was an insightful playlist. Yeah, you're a man full of surprises. And you are a man who brings them out to me. Yeah. I guess we should talk about that. And... and this, you know? I mean, I can't help but feel that you weren't 
really looking to meet a man at the speed dating thing. Yeah, I mean, but don't hold me to that. Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm trying not to, but I can't help but wonder, are you just testing the waters here or can you really see something between us? Because I've just been hurt by guys in the past who weren't open about what they wanted and yeah, it hurts. I can't remember the last time I have connected with someone the way I have with you. And I could see it, um, maybe, developing into something further. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I, I totally feel the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really glad we had this chat. Mm-hmm.